Hayden Christensen expressed his gratitude for the chance to reprise his roles as Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker in Ahsoka. Anakin made an appearance to Ahsoka in the world between worlds, where he significantly impacted Part 5, Shadow Warrior, by imparting one last lesson to his student. This entailed flicking a switch to reveal to Ahsoka Anakin's dark side as Vader, complete with fleeting glimpses of the Scythe Lord in his recognizable outfit. Christensen stated that he wore the Darth Vader armor during his brief stay in Ahsoka in statements taken from the Star Wars Shadow Warrior episode guide. Christensen is no stranger to donning these costumes. She wore them for Obi-Wan Kenobi in 2022 and for the first time in Star Wars, Episode II, Revenge of the Sith in 2005. It can be difficult for an actor to reach a point where they can play a darker role, but Christensen has shown plea at his portrayals of Anakin and Vader that he is adept at it. Even if the scenes with Darth Vader are only fleeting flashbacks, they're enough to arouse viewers and highlight Christensen's physical performance. In Revenge of the Scythe and Ahsoka, he depicted Vader's motions outside of the suit with skill, and the views of Vader appearing in armor flow together flawlessly. Christensen's dedication to the part is evident in the strong connection between the troubled Padawan from the prequel trilogy and the ferocious Scythe Lord Anakin. Christensen's consideration for detail is evident in the great care he takes to make sure that Anakin and Vader are understood in the way that George Lucas intended. It takes some investigation to find Anakin and Vader's emotional space, and Ahsoka adds the difficulty of this dark sider being a decision made under control of the character. Christensen's portrayal of Anakin and Vader, even though it wasn't the show's main character, was exceptional for Ahsoka and convinced viewers that the two characters were one and the same.